Hi my gardening friends, I'm Lark and I'm in Wisconsin, Zone 5. Come join me in a walk through my late season perennial garden. Here I have borage, which reseeds all over, but I really like it. Such a pretty flower. Yes, you can freeze these little flowers in ice cubes and float them in a drink. Eat the young leaves as greens. They're a little hairy, the leaves, so you want to use the young leaves. New planting under this tree because we're having to limit up this blue spruce. And I don't want to see my neighbors over there, so I have Annabelle hydrangeas planted in the back, which will get huge. And then some in substance, Hasta, and great blue, blue lobelia will reseed a lot in there. I use mostly perennials, because I don't want to take the time of planting all annuals. And they come back again and again. This is native to Wisconsin, and I want to deadhead it before it goes to seed. Now this one here needs to be deadheaded before it seeds all over. So that's my job today, is deadheading plants that are going to go to seed. Joe pie is notorious for reseeding, so I'll be doing Joe pie today too. This is a pretty goldenrod. It's not in full bloom. It's called Fireworks Goldenrod. I do put some edibles in here, and one is Perilla. It's an herb. Very fragrant leaf and good tasting. And I see a Japanese beetle likes it too. And go for it. There's lots of it. That I will deadhead to or pull out, and still I'll get reseeds next year. It's aggressive, but I like it. This is um, an aster, a short white aster. that adds a lot of light to the fall garden, as does your grasses, Shenandoah switchgrass. Early morning backlit, it's really pretty. Then another edible, garlic chives. Yummy! I freeze the um, leaves, chop them up a little and freeze them in ice cubes. Then just add them to some of my sauces. This is a pretty aster just going into bloom called uh, Elma Pachki. I'll see, maybe in another area it is uh, open. Tansy, very aggressive, but I deadhead that too. Clara Curtis, mum, that is a spreader. Plus I cut it back. A lot of the fall blooming plants I cut back until July, and then uh, they bloom shorter for me. Feverfew, a great herb, super herb. <gasps> you see that little bird there? <laughs> I think I, I didn't startle them too much. Feverfew, really pretty. He must be a baby. I throw a lot of the uh, feverfew seed around, and this is the feverfew browning up and getting a seed on it. And I'll pick it, and then I just scatter the seed. Let it drop. It's a good late bloomer if you deadhead it. It'll bloom early in the season also. Gloriosa daisy, a nice Rebloomer. I let that seed all over too because after the black eyed Susans, this will start in again. So if you 
broadcast the Gloriosa seed in around June, it'll be a late bloomer for you. Donna, this is the ornamental oregano. Very pretty uh, perennial. I do not use it culinary. I like the Greek oregano, but the bees like this one. Right now the bumblebee's out, but the honeybee later on will be covering this in the Autumn Joy sedums. More perilla. Another late bloomer, anemone. Just finishing up, but still some late blooms. And the phlox I deadhead, so that blooms again. And there's my joe pie. And I will deadhead that for sure so it doesn't go all over. So I, yes, I do spend a lot of time deadheading. This year, I am not raking out all the debris. I am going to chop and drop most of these things. I will first deadhead the aggressive perennials that have a lot of seeds on them. I'll take this, those seeds or deadheads away. Then I will chop and drop the whole plant. I am going to let it uh, nourish the soil. No more raking out and putting it on the compost pile. Too old for that. It's getting to be a lot of work. This is um, turtle head. Oh, it's past its prime. Can you see? Right here. More garlic chives. Annabelle hydrangea. And some more of that hot pink aster called Elma Pachki. The Baptisia is a pretty gives pretty fall interest too with the black pods and the blue-green foliage. This is an old clump. And then your common asters, but add that pretty purple now in the garden. Oops, there's some of our motorcycle people. This is sea holly going to seed. And again, I will just let it drop. I'm trying to get a thicker garden so I don't have so many weeds coming up. And that way, there's weeds coming up, but I don't see them, and the perennials will choke it out. These are some common chives. They will stay green for a long time. They'll take frost. Another underused perennial in the garden is called sneezeweed or helenium. Nice fall bloomer in my cold zone five or four. It might even be good till three. That one happens to be more yellow. I have an oranger one. Obedient plant. This one here is called Miss Manners, I think. It's not as aggressive as some of the obedient plants. Little bit of my hibiscus that I thought I lost last year. I did lose one completely, but I have six others that decided to come back, but they certainly didn't get of any size. But I'm happy just to have them back. Another Gloriosa Daisy. I never know what colors I'm going to get, but they all are in the gold or orange shades with the great blue lobelia. Autumn Joy sedums. Pretty fireworks goldenrod. This adds a lot of architectural form to the garden, the arching habit of it. I like it, but I don't let it go to seed. Now there's Joe Pie back there that is going to seed, and today I will be taking those seed heads off. I'll toss the seeds in the wild area. And what comes up, comes up, and what the birds eat and the little critters eat, that's okay too. White coneflower go in the seed. The finches really like that. 